Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrapcraftastic, and some time ago, the makers of the Sidekick Planner reached out to me and asked me if I would review their planner. So I received the planner in the mail, and it's a box. I'm just going to slide it out. I've already been looking at it and going through it and, and learning what it's all about. Um, just briefly about the Sidekick Planner. Sidekick Planner has been designed after careful research on topics such as neuroscience, spiritualism, the law of attraction, human behavior, habit formation, goal setting, success, and self-development. Experimented and tested through trial and error, we discovered the best goal setting method to bring clarity and happiness in your life. And then it lists what this planner is supposed to do for you including boost happiness improve time management increase productivity helps to achieve goals reduces stress improves mental health helps to reflect records memories clears the mind and reduces screen time this planner is actually full of a lot of information on goal setting and um creating the life that you want but let's go ahead and get into it. As far as the aesthetics of the planner, it comes in two colors. It comes in the black with the red band and it comes in red with a gray band. So I chose the black and let's go ahead and dive in. It has this sidekick embossing on the cover. I don't know if there's any relation to the movie sidekick, but that looks familiar. Okay, so just going inside. So on the first page you can go ahead and personalize it. Then it has a quote. We are what we repeatedly do. Excellence then is not an act but a habit. Aristotle. And then we get into the welcome message. And then it talks about the community. There is an online community. There is also downloadable content that you can check out. And then it gets into talking about goals. This planner is extremely goal oriented. It acts really as somewhat of a cross between a planner and a journal. So a lot of what you would put in here is journaling, not necessarily plans. It does have monthly pages. It's undated, so you can use it anytime. It's a 91 day planner, so that's three months, 13 weeks. And then it goes in and explains what to do on each type of page. So it gives you ideas of what you can do for the monthly. And it has this place down at the bottom for short-term goals for health, wealth, love, happiness. It has a note section. Then we move on to the how-to guide for the weekly spreads. And there is a lot of information packed into the weekly sections of this planner. And this is the how-to for the daily section. So you have a how-to for your monthly, a how-to for your weekly, and a how-to for your daily. And then it goes into talking about your life vision. So this, <laughs> this planner is deep, okay? Um, it um, almost, just before I even got to the actual planner pages, it almost made me feel like I need to pull out a separate notebook to write down some of these things and work out some of these these things in my mind before I actually even put them into this planner. So this is the beginning. It's the vision area. I would probably use this as actually a vision board and put images here instead of just writing here. Put images that would inspire the vision that I have for each one of these areas of my life for health, love, wealth, happiness. Then it goes on to talking about setting rituals, what you do in the morning, what you do in the evening, what you do in the, on the weekends, and it talks about the importance of having rituals and routines in your daily life. Like I said, lots of information just for everyday life. It's kind of like a little bit life coachy in a way. Then it talks about goals. It talks about smart goals, rewarding yourself, action steps, all those things. This is an area where I am challenged. I have, I'm not good at setting goals. And I think it probably would be 
more helpful to talk about how you set goals as well as how to achieve your goals so for me getting to the smart goals part of it is difficult when I have an issue with setting the goal in the first place but that could just be me so this planner gives you space for multiple goals you can include your why's process goals action steps your rewards notes ideas and mind maps and it has space for one two three goals then it moves into the monthly spreads again these are undated the blocks are a little small but that's to be expected in a planner this size it also has goals for the month for health wealth love happiness room for notes tasks you can fill in your motivation and of course the month and the year and you have three months of that then another quote you don't have to be great to start but you have to start to be great Zig Ziglar then it moves on into the weeks you have 13 weeks and this is how each week runs this is basically the introduction of your week it prepares you for the week it gives you space to write down the three things that you're excited for a weekly challenge any upcoming projects main tasks and it also has a habit tracker for the week then it moves into the daily pages and it's a day on two pages it has a space for the day and the date. then it has the morning ritual an affirmation today's focus mind and body and today's big three so you could fill in the three main goals for the day any other tasks it even has um, bullet journal type key at the bottom that you can use for your check boxes on other tasks and it also has on the second page a place for a schedule so you can time your schedule for any time of the day that you need it has plenty of room for notes today's achievements what you're grateful for and my big dream this is a lot as far as daily planning but if you are focused on achieving certain goals I think this is good to keep you on track to keep you in that mindset to keep you on course it continues with that way through the week so you have seven days then at the end of the week we come here to the weekly recap last week's achievements and you can list those out in those four areas of health wealth love and happiness and review your weekly challenge list ways that you can improve and again more room for notes and it says review your written goals regularly to stay motivated and then the weeks repeat again you get 13 weeks so you would have dailies for all of those weeks so it's pretty good size and plenty of room and you have another quote we do not learn from experience we learn from reflecting on experience John Dewey then it goes into the goals again what it was what was the outcome what went right and why what went wrong and why notes and future actions and that's in reference to the three goals that you set at the beginning then it goes on to the things that changed in the last 13 weeks and how you score those changes then we move on to just the notes and the back of the planner and you have a pocket in the back and that is it for this planner my thoughts I think it's very good again if you are striving towards particular goals and you're having trouble staying on track as a planner I'm not sure that it's really a planner I feel like it's more of a journal or more of a life coach really it does have some aspects of planning but they are not the main focus the main focus is setting goals aesthetically I'm not a fan of really dark header areas that's just a personal preference a design preference I like my pages to be more light and airy and not so harsh and that probably is because of my need to decorate them <laughs> so it really has nothing to do with how the planner would function 
So if you're working towards a particular goal or a set of goals, this would be a great tool in keeping you on track. And it does have the two bookmarks. So it has a black one and a red one here. It's very nice quality. Again, it is journal style. So, and this is what it looks like. So if you're interested in this planner, I will leave the information in the description box below. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!